Last year, Russ Wicks established a new world stock car speed record of 222.623 miles per hour at the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. The previous milestone of 216.946 miles per hour was set nearly 35 years ago by Bobby Isaac. Wicks was added again today, October the 8th, 2007. Earlier today, he broke his own previous record, and it now stands at 240 miles per hour. I'm Ralph Bond with another Autodesk News and Views report, and I'm on the phone, cell phone, direct from the Bonneville Salt Flats with Russ just hours after his American Challenge team made history today. First off, Russ, congratulations on breaking your own record from one year ago today. How did this run today feel compared to last year's? This run was much more of a challenge because we only had about three to four weeks to put the whole project and whole program together so it was it was more challenging and much more rewarding to be able to not only accomplish such a great feat but um you know obviously do it and, and uh break the record and, and push the speed uh to 240 miles an hour russ did you say 240 miles per hour 240 miles an hour was the average run of making the the run through the mile in both directions. Your Autodesk-sponsored Dodge Charger was originally built as a stock car to compete on the Talladega high-speed oval, and certainly not for a flat-out speed run. What modifications did you have to do to optimize the car for this purpose? We did a number of things to optimize the car. Uh, we started with the car that was, was built to run at Talladega, and we needed to the car to perform in a straight line as best we could. We started collaborating with the engineers between Chrysler and uh, American Challenge and some people that we brought on board as consultants from um, the world of NASCAR. And uh, we used uh, product stream for collaboration uh, for uh, documents and um, doing some, some calculations based on our last year's um, activities and, and uh, the data we, we had last year. From there, um, in sort of the final hour after we had the, uh, the, the car just a number of days, we uh, did an optical scan of the vehicle, and that was put into Alias Studio for surfacing. Uh, from Alias Studio, we, um, we, we did a full scan of the car, top and bottom, and um, we looked at the car and made some some predictions on what we needed to do as far as fit requirements in the area of straightening out the car for the suspension travel and um, suspension uh, parts, bump stops, and um, areas uh, to get the car to, again, perform better in a straight line. Um, we used Inventor to uh, quickly um, lay out and uh, help us with with the, the fit requirements and to, to build some parts, some, some bump stops and, and some, some pieces that uh, through collaboration and through uh, a very um, quick, uh, user-friendly uh, software, we were able to, uh, to get out here in just a matter of a couple weeks with, with the parts um, after going to the wind tunnel only last Thursday, which would have been five, just a few days ago. Thursday night, we pulled an all-nighter in the Chrysler wind tunnel. Russ, Autodesk's Alias Studio and Inventor software, it's all about digital prototyping. That is, being able to experience on the computer what the modifications you want to make are going to perform like in reality. And to do all this before you ever commit to fabricating any materials, what was it like to work with that kind of design software? Well, last year was a, a, a proven success. That, uh, you know, we... Um, we installed uh, Autodesk software, um, and it's specifically in Venner, just a, a, a number of weeks before we did our, our last record, and it proved to be something that was extremely uh, user-friendly, uh, easy for our engineers to get up to speed. It was the very first time they ever used uh, Autodesk software, and they were very happy with it, and we were quickly able to um, do the analysis and uh, you know, have a lot of success last year with our run. Um, this year, we were, were probably one step ahead of the game because we did have some experience with software, of course, 
but we were under such a, a stringent um, timeline that, um, and working tw- 24 hours the last, you know, two weeks to make things happen, that uh, it proved once again that it was it was extremely valuable in um, making making us realize our ideas through a very short uh, time window and uh, user friendly software and collaboration. To, uh, to accomplish our goals, our design and manufacturing goals. Hey, Russ, are you planning to make another run like this a year from now? Well, our plan is actually we're not done out here. We're, we're coming back tomorrow morning, and uh, our goal was we did 240 miles an hour average. Our goal was 250. Um, I don't know if uh, the cars got that in it, but uh, we're, we feel that the conditions in the morning are better for a couple miles an hour, and uh, the track conditions, the course conditions were actually – really, really bad at one end of the course, which uh, cost us a lot of miles per hour. So um, they're going to grade the course tonight. Tomorrow morning we'll have to go uh, considerably faster. You know, maybe it's five miles an hour faster, and, and ultimately maybe we, we reach our 250-mile-an-hour mark. Uh, moving forward, we have been working on designing a, a um, vehicle, a uh, streamliner that looks sort of like a missile, about 30 feet long to go out and break the world's fastest gasoline-powered record. And uh, that will be powered by a big block um, uh, Chrysler Hemi engine. And uh, we've been using uh, Autodesk Inventor uh, as our uh, design tool to, uh, to build and uh, generate uh, all the 3D uh, images which we've used, uh, CFD for analysis, and uh, move forward with... Uh, uh, Full analysis, and we're at the point where we're about ready to start building the vehicle. So, Russ, the bottom line is this: without the Autodesk Alias Studio and Inventor software, you simply couldn't have achieved your goals in the short three-week window of time you had to work with. Is is that basically it? That's that's correct. Uh, the The key for us was having the software available and at our our fingertips to help us shorten the time period and even make the whole process possible. Well, Russ, many thanks for your time today, and best of luck to you and the American Challenge team on breaking that 240-mile record you set today on the 8th of October. Hope you can make it tomorrow and break that record, and best of luck to you. Thank you. I really appreciate uh, everyone's support. The Autodesk Dodge uh, Charger just was fantastic, and, and hopefully we'll go faster tomorrow. To learn more about the collaboration between Russ Wick's American Challenge Team, the Dodge Motorsports Engineering Group, and Autodesk, visit www.autodesk.com forward slash American Challenge. I'm Ralph Bond for Autodesk.